Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. I'm Fiona Langsharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Today, we're talking about our Gold Lactation Online Conference 2022. And we're actually going to dive a little bit deeper today. We're talking about one of our interactive sessions with Christine Starika. She's here with us again at Gold. And she's going to be talking about your responsibility to the WHO code, evaluate real world scenarios for compliance. All right, so it's quite a big topic. We're going to talk about it in a minute. So stay with us. But let's find out what's going on with Christine these days. And uh, Christine, it's lovely to have you back here again. Thanks, Fiona. I'm so honored to get to speak with gold again. I'm uh, still me still Christine still here in California. Um, yeah, I'm based here in the United States. I'm a lactation consultant in private practice. I work in the community outpatient setting. And I'm super excited to have this opportunity to uh, facilitate a live workshop, because that means I don't have to do all the talking. And you as the audience do not have to just listen to me talk, you get to participate. <laughs> That's right. In these sessions um, that are interactive, um, we really are anticipating that you, the viewer, the listener, the student will come with your, even if this is, you know, you're well versed in this, not well versed in this, we want everybody's participation here because when we know that when we work together on these topics, we do better. You know, we all do better in our communities, in our hospitals, in our practices, and of course, most importantly, with our families. So, and that's really what the WHO code is representing is the families out there. So again, the topic title for this presentation, your responsibility to the WHO code, evaluating real world scenarios for compliance. Now, Christine, you and I have gone back and forth on this presentation because it really can, you know, change so many things when we just have a little bit of information. But what has been some of the surprising things that have kind of, you know, brought up, you know, some emotion in you while you've been going through this journey, putting together this presentation? That's a great question. And I think that like most people, when I think about the WHO code, I do spend a lot of time applying that to situations that involve formula. But when I wanted to put this together, I really wanted to bring some real world scenarios that are not surrounding formula so that we can look at the broader scope of what the code actually does and what that tool was actually built for. And so I've been surprised at how many places we can find those opportunities where the code can be applied and examples of there's so much research about opportunities and, and times during the last few years where companies have absolutely you know taken advantage of vulner the vulnerability of our world situation and uh, you know spent a lot of time and effort to try to influence healthcare workers in terms of issues that pertain to the code that's right. And we're and we're talking about each and every one of us. We're all healthcare professionals here working together for the, the better good. We've got these common grounds. Um, we were talking about earlier offline that, you know, what do we have in common when it comes to our families and breastfeeding? Well, we're invested in them as each professional comes together. And whether, you know, we're working as a lay professional or as an IBCLC, there's one thing that really does drive us. And that is, you know, making sure that our families are well taken care of. That's what we want. We all we can all agree on that. The other thing that comes up really often is about making an informed decision. I feel like we're all pretty passionate about that because we don't like it when we're duped or where, you know, we, we've been influenced by what someone has said to us or there's been any amount of trickery involved in, you know, how we make that decision. And we do see that. We see that, you know, some people have got very strong opinions in the healthcare and they they're not up to date. And I find that when you come to lactation consultants and those working in the breastfeeding field, we're really up to date. Like we're got the hot topics and we're, we're driven to make sure that we've got the latest research and we're, you know, we're, we're the ones providing it to others within the healthcare field. So this has a little bit to do with informed decision-making, Chris. And that's kind of what we were talking about, you know, in putting this together that in actual fact, you know, um, the WHO code actually protects that, or that's what it was developed for in order to make sure there was choice. 
And at this point, there's a lot of influence in the market when it comes to infant formula, other products, parenting and those types of things. So this was this has been really good for you and I to sort of discuss this. And I this is what you're going to present to people at the at the at the conference. Yeah, and I think that what ends up happening for people, especially today, as time goes on and we have more and more communication tools available to us 24 seven, families have limited opportunities to be educated by healthcare professionals with right. real evidence-based information, but they have millions of marketing messages being thrown at them. So protecting their ability to make an informed choice is just, the, it's exactly what the code was developed for. And it remains, even here in 2022, an extremely relevant and strong tool to do that. We just need to apply it and ensure that in all the places around the world, it can be enforced so that it works. Yeah, absolutely. Now, some of the things we were thinking about today, it's this is really this this can be quite hard work, you know, in terms of actually putting it into place. And as professionals, sometimes we don't have a lot of control over policy or practice, you know, in our setting and, you know, where there are other influences that, you know, are beyond our control. But you wanted to really bring some, you know, things, you know, into our midst that we do have control over. And I think there's going to be some of that conversation happening as well. Absolutely, because everybody should walk away from this with some ideas for even small changes that they feel they can make. And if it feels like you do know a lot about this, you're very versed in this, then you may hear something that helps you teach it to someone else. Mm. So everybody should walk away with something new that they learned or that they can try to help be another person who's out there enforcing and bringing the code to the world. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like we need to challenge people listening right now. So if you are an influencer, perhaps in the field of, you know, lactation, and you've got a lot of knowledge about the who code, I say, come on in, like, you know, Please. bring your ideas. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we all feel like we need to be better educated. We all feel like we need to have ongoing conversations and solutions here. And if you're brand new to the code, maybe you haven't even heard about it, or maybe it's something that's been so far out there, or you, you just don't want to deal deal with it. Listen, we get it. You know, it's sometimes it's hard to learn these new things, but these, this particular item has such a bearing on the direction of, you know, the decision-making of healthcare professionals, but more importantly, our families that you could be actually influencing them, you know, maybe inappropriately and causing, you know, there's a cause and effect here. So as a professional, we all want to be up to date. We all want to make good decisions and we all want to provide the evidence, you know, to our families. So I think there is a responsibility for everyone to attend this presentation and really understand how they can make those small steps, those baby steps, let's just say it, you know, in, in the direction of the who code, right, Christine? Absolutely. And I, I think you will leave with something that you feel like you were able to participate in this conversation. You know, whether you consider yourself new to the topic or really experienced, you're invited. We want you there. Um, by no means am I an expert. I'm here to facilitate your conversation and Fiona will be with us and we'll, we'll be listening to your input and your feedback throughout the presentation. You'll have questions that you can answer and offer ideas and offer uh, things that you are running into in the real world so that we can talk about those things, help you solve them and help us all move forward. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Sometimes topics can be heavier. And now all of a sudden, when you and I were flushing this out and talking about, you know, really some of the things that we're influenced by, it's given me some new recognition in my own life, you yes. know, how sometimes, yeah, there, I have biases and I can, you know, I can be influenced in the things that I purchase. And so, yeah, my families that I work with, of course, you know, they can be influenced. And I just want to make sure that I do right by them, Christine, you know, I think about those families, they are so vulnerable and they've got so many choices to make. And, you know, I just want to make sure that when they 
choose a product, they choose it for the right reasons, you know, yes. choose everything for the right reasons and not because of the influence of somebody else who has, who works for those companies or the marketing effects that, you know, can happen. So I'm really excited to hear other people's ideas, opinions, and solutions in this area. And I know you are too. It's, it, it's going to be such a great time together working in this interactive session, right? I am very much looking forward to it. There's a lot of ways that you can participate. So please do, you know, read all your emails and understand how you can participate in this because there are questions you can answer even before it starts. So that's right. We want to hear from you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And remind us, so this is an interactive session. Now, Christine's going to be speaking on May 3rd for most folks, but obviously you want to check your time zone because it will be slightly different for, you know, some of our friends around the world. So go to the website, you can see all the details, but this will be a live interactive session. And as Christine mentioned, there's going to be some questions prior to this session that you can sort of start to engage with. It's not a test. It's just about, <laughs> you know, some of the things that you already know or some of the things that have come up in your facilities. And so we want to hear from you. Take the opportunity, get in the sort of, you know, frame that, you know, we're we're sharing with you and bring all of your ideas, your questions together. And, and we're going to have such a great opportunity. I think this is just another building stone in this field you know, of medicine that we're so, so passionate about, and we can make it greater and better for those who are coming up behind us. Thank you so much, Christine. It's been, uh, I mean, I just, I love working with you so much. And I love this opportunity to bring this topic to everybody here at Gold Lactation. Well, thank you. And thank you to Gold for this opportunity. And I really look forward to seeing all of you really soon. Yeah, absolutely. And don't forget, so right now you can go to our website, goldlactation.com. Everything's ready. We're getting ready for you coming through the doors. April 4th is our kickoff day. So if you're planning on coming live, make sure you check the calendar right now. You can go on the website and it'll find out what location you're in and, and help you discern when you're going to be available. Um, but be sure to check out, you know, free registration to our opening keynote. That, of course, is there as a gift to you. You can come and participate. Um, and then if you've registered already, of course, you can start to check off uh, the schedule and come and meet with uh, Christine and I at our one of our interactive sessions. Thank you again to Christine Starika for being here. It's just been great having you. And of course, to all of you listening in, thank you once again for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing and connecting with you online. Bye-bye for now, everyone.